Hello everyone, my name is John Melisondran. Today I'm gonna teach you how to paint this wonderful landscape painting. You can see here some uh, train and a beautiful landscape background. And please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and hit the bell button if you want to receive some future notification my new videos and tutorial. Okay, you can see all the materials needed on the screen. You can see the five limited colors, the brushes that we're gonna need and all the things that we're gonna need to paint this tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to start now and I'm gonna do a little sketching first. I'll be using this raw umber. I'll just use this plain raw umber, everyone. And I'm gonna do a cliff here. And here I'm gonna put the train. I'm gonna make it uh, too big. I'll just put it like this here. Yeah. And a little perspective. It's gonna be something like this. there or maybe on the other side I'm gonna put a, a little cliff and then some trees on the other distance there so this will be my plan uh, my plan sketch and this will be the look of my painting i'll put a cliff here the train and then everything will be background okay so i'm going to start now and i will do the underpainting first uh, i want uh, I, I want it to be in the afternoon scene as always as always but uh, usually <laughs> so i have here some blue and some white a little blue and white if you, you want everyone, you can actually spray it with water, make it a little wet, and it will be easy for me or for us to, to add the colors or to, to put the paints. Some blue here. There. And then I'm going to put a little red, or not just little, but more, and then white. I put it here. there and then I want to put um, more white this one to make it uh, smooth everyone the blendings But anyway, anyway, everyone, this is just the underpainting. There. Yeah, maybe I'll just cover her first. I'll just do it later on. And then I will try to put the cliff here. Yeah. I'm gonna make it a little dark or darker. There. So we're doing first the underpainting everyone. So usually I do like this to add some colors or dark colors on the on the canvas so that it will be easy for me later on to, to put some uh, to cover it with other colors also. There. 
and then some blue under umber I'm gonna put some trees here on the background but for now I'm gonna make it uh, I, I'm going to blend it here first mm, a little greenish also can put can put any colors everyone as long as it become dark there I'm gonna put some uh, lighter purples then I'm gonna put it here for the backgrounds these are some trees here or or forest in the backgrounds I just want to make the colors everyone solid there just uh, still not so solid I want to make it there I want to put more I mean Okay, and more umber here in the pathway or in the real way. Okay, so I'm done with the underpainting, everyone. So I'm going to let it dry first, maybe for at least five minutes, and then we can go back adding more details. Okay, everyone, so I think the paints are already dry now, and I'm going to start adding the details or adding. Uh, more under paintings Okay, so I'll just make the everything solid first before I'm gonna start adding uh, sketching the the train, okay, so uh, I think I will retest a little more the sky. It's not so solid uh, I'll use first um, light blue color There Then I'm gonna use this uh, red and then white to make some pink. So this will create a pink sky or something like a pink color on the skies. So you just have to blend on the existing blue, uh, bluish color. There. put a little red to create some a little light clouds there on the, on the sky there and then you need to clean your brush carefully And then I'm gonna use this yellow and then a little red there and then some white more yellow so I will try to put in the bottom a little lighter colors here You can spray it with water if it feels rough. There. There.
and I'm going to try to put more orange I'm going to try to put more, a little orange on the sky everyone a uh, reddish orange or something to create some random skies there or clouds like this one that's it so I think that will be fine for me Uh, a little more lighter uh, yellowish tone there on uh, this part okay or something like uh, a little darker orange there's to create those clouds there Also, put a little more uh, orange, everyone, on the top. There. Okay, I think that will be enough. It's just a little yellowish or orange things on the clouds, and that will be enough for me. And I will try to use some more purple here uh, it will be much more uh, reddish purple and white yeah and this time I will make it uh, something like a distant uh, forest uh, here there are, are some distant uh, mountains Later I can also retouch this one if ever again I need to change something. Okay, so I have here uh, some purples. So this purple everyone will make that color much more solid. I can create uh, some uh, pine trees there also it's a much more distant uh, forest later we can retouch this one whatever we're gonna need to change it will be fine and I want more uh, darker uh, darker purple yeah put it here also I need to put some forest here but in it, uh, just wet your brush everyone put uh, some uh, paint to make it wet because I think my canvas is so hard canvas is not so good there Okay, that looks good.
then also here I want to put some okay maybe I'll try to uh, sketch first yeah I'll do the sketching on the on the train so that uh, I will know where I'm gonna put this thing So I'll be using the rule umber. So it will be here on this part. There. So it will be this part, everyone. I also need to put a little perspective yeah So this will be my train here. Uh, not so big everyone, just uh, small enough. There. And I'll try to put some dark tones, uh, uh, raw umber blue and red so this will be my train This will be an old type of train everyone. This will be my perspective. I'm gonna put some trees also here, covering the part of the train. There you go. And on the top, it will be some smoke there. Yeah. That's it. And here, I'll try to put some sh shadows or shades. The light is coming from the left side, not I mean from the light, right side. There, I think I will try to start now putting some leaf here. Uh, Rue umber, yellow, and the red. There. 
how to try to put some white more yellow yeah so it's hard to use uh, uh, because I, I I am a right hand everyone so it's hard for me to create lights on the left side right side because my hands should be like this so it's normal if you're having a hard time also this will be a cliff here everyone uh, hitting by a great light coming from the left from the right side I mean Okay. I think that looks good when you have a cliff here. I'm gonna support some darks. Okay, so I'll just try to use this blue under umber. And just create a much more detailed uh, cliff here. So I'm adding some dark tones uh, or some mid tones here to create this uh, to, to put some darker colors. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm really sweating now everyone <laughs> because my place is so hot I don't know it's very hot now in the Philippines okay so I'm going to put some more white and yellow to the brown I'm gonna create more highlights I'm using now the smaller brush everyone Okay, just have to put some highlights on the cliff there. Okay.
So just add a little white everyone. Some white highlights on the top also. There. To create some lines. Also here some big crocs. There. So just to add more uh, plenty of details everyone, lights, darks, uh mid tones to create a uh, that is has plenty of light there or plenty of colors on the mountains okay so I think that's it mm -hmm. so I will try to put some some colors here on the on this uh, mountain here but I think I will try to put some pine trees so I'll be using this so umber and the red color And a little romber, romber and uh, blue and red and romber. Yeah, just I'm using the number eight nylon fast bus, everyone. Okay, so you know some pine trees. You can also put some other trees there. Okay, and I'm gonna use some yellow and blue because I'm gonna put some something like a field here, just a small field, everyone. Field of greens. Okay, and then I'm gonna use a little darker greens. Start to blend. There. Okay. Yeah, and then I think I'll try to maybe later on time I'm going to put some colors on the on these uh, pine trees. Yeah, I'll just try to put some 
So guess where I'm gonna put this uh, Okay, maybe I'll, I will do more here first. So I have here some yellow, a little red, and white, mm, a little blue, yeah. And I'll put it here, everyone. Some pine trees or trees. This is a forest also here. There. Yeah, it will be very, very bright. Also, I want to put some more uh, orange, uh, greenish orange, and then white. Too much. I think I'll add more red. So yeah, I'll put the, put the highlights of the forest, or the distant forest, everyone. The color should be much more like yellowish or yellowish brown so that it will create uh, it has been hit by the, the sunlight and also here a little and here there I want that part to be really bright everyone Okay, yeah, I have now some distant uh, things there on the, on the far. Yeah, I think I will put some more. I'll start to put now some highlights on these uh, pine trees. So it should be much more reddish. Just put it on the right side, everyone. Let's see here. I'm using the small brush, the number two nylon flat brush. So you have now the lights of the pine trees. Okay. There. And then I will try to put now. Wait, I'm going to put much more highlights. And then I will put now some uh, other plants or trees. I'll be using now the bristle, uh, I mean, bristle uh, fan brush. So here I have the red, the yellow, the blue, and a little red. Also have here some 
red and yellow and blue uh, it will be much more reddish everyone or or greenish much more like something like that okay so just use the tapping technique here there okay So you have now some trees there on the back. I'm also here, I need to put some trees. more yellowish and here everyone I'm going to put some uh, bushes here on the top of the mountain using the fan brush there yeah, not so much, just enough. And also here. Some grasses on the field. Okay. There you go. And then I will try to uh, use another brush, everyone. Uh, another piece of flat brush. This one is much more smaller than the fan brush. So I have here some yellow and the blue. And then white. So here you can create the tapping technique. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna put some more yellow. And of course here everyone, I'm gonna put some also cliff here. to put some more bluish uh, blue color or greenish blue put it here on the also this part but it should be um, darker everyone because uh, this part will be covered by the sun um, cannot didn't hit by the sun so I'm, I'm gonna make it dark or much more bluish I'm using now the bristle flat brush
there. Here I'm gonna put a little more push. There. Okay, so you can see a little bluish there on the bottom. Uh, but here I'm gonna put uh, dark greenish. Everyone, so I need to continue putting here. I think I will start now adding some details on the on the uh, train. Okay, so I'll be using a smaller brush. Here I have the uh, number two nylon flat brush, using some white, uh, umber with a little blue and white. I'm gonna put some roof. There. And then I will make some brownish, red and the umber. And a little yellow. And white. More yellow and white. there okay that's it a little light here yeah Will be good. I'm gonna say here. I'm gonna try to retouch. Yeah. And then light also on the bottom. This is the railway everyone but I'm going to retouch that later on okay and then I will now use a smaller brush the number one liner brush for a lot uh, tinier details here 
here. Uh, Rue umber white and the blue. Uh, Rue umber and white and blue berries look like gray. It's very, it's very hot now in my studio and I'm sweating. <laughs> so here it is a circle. So the light is coming from the left side everyone. There, okay. It's uh, becoming much more alive now. Yeah, there are plenty of details, but I'll just try to. Uh, mimic or follow what it looks but it will not be perfect just try to create some details there but it will look like some original strain but i know it will be not so much the same It's a lighter here. With some few details like that. There. Okay. Uh, there are plenty of details here, but I'll just uh, follow what it looks like, but it will not be look like everyone. I just uh, follow whatever it looks there. How it looks, the details there. to create uh, an illusion it will look like that but it will be a little different so I have here red and romber I'll try to put it here can I try use the pure red Yeah, I'm sweating everyone, if you can see, if you can see my sweat.
Oke. Okay. And then also I to put a lot more details. So blue under umber. To put some darks here. Just to create uh, uh, details everyone, even if it doesn't look like. Okay, more. Yeah. And then here. There's a circle here I saw in the photo. Okay. Yeah. And I was try to put some more details, highlights, especially in the right side. So I have here a little lighter uh, gray or raw umber and blue and white. Okay. Yeah, I can just create a lot more details there. Okay, uh, a little darker. Yeah. Okay, everyone. So I think I hope that you uh, can can see it good. Yeah. It's now forty minutes. Yeah. And more light colors. Let's put it here. There. Not so much. And it also here. Some little random details everyone you can see on the bottom. Yeah, it will just look like when you see it in the distance. Okay. I think I will put a, a lighter colors. Sure, in the top.
a lot more lighter one to make it looking like shiny there okay to make it look like a shiny everyone you can put like that I think I, I think I need to put some more details on the other side Lighter, I'm gonna put some more white. And this one, everyone, is, uh, is like uh, a light, so I'm gonna make it uh, brighter. And also, this one here, okay? Yeah, I think that looks good now. It doesn't perfectly realistic, but I think it looks cute. Looks like uh, a train. Okay, now I'm going to lighten this part here. I want it to be hit by a good light. But first, I'm going to put some uh, darker tones. Uh, Roomber blue and red. There. And here I have some red, yellow, yeah, more yellow. And in white. I want it to be a lot lighter. There. Okay, yeah, so at least you can see a very good light there. I want more. Okay, I will put some uh, pure white to create a lot more reflections. With more shines there okay yeah I think that looks good it's now uh, brighter and I like it yeah I think I'm going to continue now I'm going to put here some but I'm going to put the uh, railway first to be light I have the blue amber the blue to be darker and a little red just 
to be here everyone Again, blue umber and blue everyone, and then I'm gonna put it here. Yeah. And then I'm gonna put some lights there, like uh, pigments of ro or rocks or whatever we're gonna found under the under the the, the train or on the railway. So it's just really be light rocks here. There, okay. Okay. These are sun, everyone, gravels, or whatever. They put it there. Okay. So, white and the raw umber. I just need to put it here. Same thing. It should be a perfect uh, curve, everyone, because okay.
Again, this will be some gravel, everyone. And just blend it here. There. Okay. And then we're gonna continue it here. The shadow, everyone, always be remember the shadow. Or casted shadows. I'm really sweating everyone <laughs> but I'm really good I really like the entire result it's not yet done it's uh, one hour but uh, I need to put more details okay so I'm going to continue adding more highlights or shades so here I have uh, raw umber I'm gonna put a little bluish color there it should be here And also here. So this part is casted shadow here. And then slowly you can create, you can, you can see the, the thickness of the, of the railway. Okay, like that. Okay, maybe I need to put some colors or brown colors on the railway. So here I have red and yellow to make it some orange and white. Yeah. And then, yeah, maybe it should be dark on the inside. But wait, I need to put something here. Okay, I want to add more darks. This one even is casted shadow. There. So 
so this one is shadow for everyone and then this one is a gravels or rocks you can find and uh, I'll try to make it uh, I'm going to retouch that I'm gonna make it lighter There should be some gravels there or rocks. And also here. Yeah, I'm sweating. <laughs> And also here. Okay, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And it looks now realistic, everyone. I like it. So far, I really like it. I like the entire result, and it looks good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm almost done. I'll just, uh, I'll just now start retouching. So... Here I have the blue, amber, and the blue with white. There. Okay. Okay, so I will now add some more details everyone maybe i will try to put some more uh, plants or highlights on the grasses so here i have the raw umber i uh, know i have this br raw uh, bristle flat brush and a little blue red and more yellow Here you can create uh, you can use the tapping technique and put some can create some leaves on this grasses on this uh, plant or tree. There. Okay, that looks good. And also here. The stopping technique, everyone. Yeah. So the light is coming from the left, uh, right side. And then here, I create much more lights. So 
So, to the grasses, everyone. Here also, I'm going to put more uh, trees using these light, lighter green colors. And also here. Okay, how about this everyone? Okay, so I'm going to put more. Uh, this time, much more yellowish or orange. Okay, so that looks good. Yeah. So I think I'm almost done everyone. I just have to retouch more and then, yeah, maybe I'm really, really contented with that. So I just put, put some smokes there and I think I will be done. I'll just put some smokes. I'll be using a small brush. The number two and the first brush. So uh, to put the smokes, I have to use this uh, blue, red, and white. It should be light romber, everyone, or light purple. I'm sorry, everyone, not, not light romber, but uh, light purple or light violet, blue, violet, red, blue, and white. Add more white to make it light. And here. So just circular strokes. Can create this uh more reddish to make it look like uh, hit by the sun Okay, yeah, I put more smokes. There. Okay, so yeah. everyone so I think I am done 
yeah I, I want to create the lights I want to put them lights but no I think this is perfect for me as of now and maybe some tree here but I like yeah uh, I like it that way so yeah so everyone I think I am done and I hope you get something out of this uh, you're happy with the entire result as also I am very very happy in the entire result it looks perfectly good and everything the lights shadows also the forms the objects this is the train and the landscape is perfectly good so i think i'm very contented and i'm very love it everyone so i want to say thank you okay everyone so i want to say thank you for watching this video today and i hope you get something out of this and my only advice is to keep on practicing keep on painting the more you do it the more you know how to use your brush the more you will know how to mix the colors that's why i'm using limited colors in palette because i want you to learn how to, know how to mix and get the desired colors you want so please hit like and some comments subscribe for more videos in the future okay once again thank you have a nice day and god be sure all the glory and honor and praises always belongs to the Lord.